TNC Africa is a TV series production company on a mission to tell original African stories. Join us now to talk about uh, TNC Africa and this uh, new production is a very versatile Nigerian actor and comedian who has made significant impact in the entertainment industry. He's Mr. Kunle Ido, popularly known as Frank Donga in the building. Hello. Good to thank have you. you on the thank show. You. Always good to be home. Oh, oh yes. This nice. is thank helpful. you. We thank you for acknowledging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell us about this new project. Um, um, Olola Day is coming up on Netflix and uh, it's a six part series. Yes. And um, tell us about the, about the production and why it was such an interesting one for you. Thank you very much uh, for that question. <laughs> TNC Africa is a production company and uh, Olola Day, the series, is uh, coming out on Netflix on the 24th, this Friday of November. Um, it was an interesting project to be on. I'm really grateful for such opportunities. And the storyline basically chronicles uh, the reality of most uh, people, especially in the, this part of the world, Nigeria in particular. Uh, you know, it delves into the dynamics of uh, marriage or relationships, uh, fidelity, uh, poverty, the desire to become rich at all costs, mm. and uh, crime, and many other social um, Issues that come up in our society. Right. So, and basically, you know, art is like a mirror. We, our job is to reflect the society with a hint of lessons. So, mm. that's why the spread is very important. The, so, you portrayed the, um, what's it called the, the, trailer. the trailer this morning, and I was wondering because you know, so we're not going to the film now. How okay. you know you would portray the ills? Because we know the word "olola de Mister Money" is used to hype somebody that is just frivolously spending money. So I was wondering, is it going to highlight the need for money as against the, the um, consequence of ill-gotten wealth? Yeah, very close to, to, to the plot line already, man. Have you watched it? <laughs> no, <laughs> Time is it. Uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead, Mariam. So, so, so you're correct. Uh, Ololade uh, is a Yoruba word. And of course, the series is a Yoruba series. We, we spoke uh, a mix of uh, Yoruba and Pidgin English. For the most part, what it was is predominantly in Yoruba language, but even non-Yoruba speakers can also flow with, with the storyline. So it's a, it's an attempt to chronicle what the experience of an average person whose uh, need for financial freedom is met with uh, sudden wealth, and how does he react and behave in that situation? So I play the lead, Shino, and Shino is a classroom teacher, is a regular teacher uh, who is uh, having financial challenges. And his wife is a bit well off. And you know the kind of pressure that seems to generate in our society. And you know, Shino is under pressure and goes for spiritual intervention. And somehow, he gets his miracle. Uh, he thought his enemies were doing him. Right. But then he felt his enemies were defeated. So right. Right. I have even answered my next question mm. because you know, we know you, you've always taken like, you know, social causes like this and then you add your comedic flair to it. So I was going to ask, was it quite comedic because we were there or were you serious from Donga in this movie? Which one? To be honest, it was more serious. Okay. For real? Yes, for real. I don't believe you. Exactly. <laughs> I don't believe me too. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's a humbling feeling to realize that people see you and they instantly attach you more or fun or laughter. Mm -hmm. it, I think it's, it's a, I'd rather that than people seeing you in France say, hey, now that guy won that person for that film. He must be wicked. You're like, you know what? But then this is a more serious role. Um, my, my character, you know, is uh, a bit more serious. But yeah. the storyline itself is re written with humor. So I'm not the only person that brings the humor. The humor is woven into the, into the plot. Right. And I've taken a sneak peek at it and trust me, I, I had a good laugh. I must say myself. <laughs> hey, so what, what, what standard do you uh, should we expect from you know Lola Day, considering that the TNC also produced their black book and we saw how that went. So what should we expect? Premium. That's the summary. Uh, first of all, TNC Africa is known for high quality production from the visual, from the storyline to the directing, to the uh, production design, to the, the visuals, post-production, everything. I am pleasantly impressed. Kudos to all the staff, all the crew, all the cast. Every department was on point for this. And imagine, for Netflix to have picked up a, pro a project like this, off the bat, you're from uh, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Netflix must have seen something. You know, it must have met their standards. Yeah. So it's very well produced uh, content, and I'm looking forward to people's reaction. I hope they, I'm sure they will enjoy it. How do you also feel, uh, you know, about um, TNT 
telling African stories, original African stories? What, okay. How does that make you feel as an actor? Excited. I think it's about time. I mean, uh, the best person to own the narrative of our Af Africans will be Africans themselves. Exactly. We have the tools. Uh, if we have the will, there's nothing stopping us. I mean, if you don't tell your stories, other people are going to tell that story. They'll and tell the, it wrongly. Exactly. And the best way to tell your story is also to make sure you are conscious about, you know, balancing stories and also projecting the lessons there for people. Not just telling stories, oh, the site is bad, everything is bad. Here, yeah, what, what lessons can we learn to, to, from this? And that's one unique thing about this project. We're not only just reflecting the society, we're also trying to you know, reflect the, the, the ills and the, the, the positives and the negatives and then try to help you, guide you into making the right decision. That's most important for me. She know went into quite a bit of transformation. I mean, I, I, from, I'm not, I've not seen it, but based on what I've heard, um, what do you think, can you discuss the character development of Shino specifically? When I got the call for this role, uh, I had to call the uh, executive producer and we had a conversation because that's my thought process, that's my work process for getting into roles. I want to know everything about the character. How old is the character? Where is he coming from? What are his fears? What are his concerns? Where is he from? What languages does he speak? How educated is the character? I mean, that helped me to settle in the character and sue the character. And with the help of the director, the makeup department, the costume department, everybody on the team, that really helped me. And my wonderful uh, co-actors, uh, wonderful, wonderful people, shout out to all of you. They made it very easy to transit into that character. Okay, so what opportunities or challenges do this um, present to filmmakers and storytellers? Well, opportunities are there. I mean, I could be in a movie right now in Nigeria and... Uh, like I have been in previous times, and I'm getting emails and DMs from people in Brazil, from people wow. in, uh, in the UK, in Spain, in languages that I don't even speak, and we had to use Google Translate. <laughs> like, oh, we watched this movie, we liked it, I watch African movies. That has happened several times, you know? So that's an opportunity to project your talent and your cultures, your values to the rest of the world, and also earn one or two K. Like, I used to buy Gary <laughs> along the way. Trust me. It's your white. It's not to yeah. white. It's not to kill. Yeah. And I bleach, man. I bleach. I take water. Yeah. So, yeah. and also the challenges, of course, making any content in this part of the world has its own unique challenges. You know, electricity is one thing. Uh, funds are not that easy to come by. Distractions on set. You know, there are some fans, rugged fans that have rugged love for you. They want you to show them rugged love too, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so love for love. And sometimes that happens on set. You know, we just have to find a way to mediate and balance things out. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah. So let's look into the, to the future. What would you say, you know, people can anticipate or look forward to from you? Kuledo and TNC Africa. When they say Kuledo, I say, who is that? I know, right? Yes, I know. Sometimes I feel that way too. Yeah, but it's still your boyfriend, Donga. But uh, thank you so much for the support, and you know, I'm always happy to you know be around. First of all, people like you, my family from TV station. People find it hard to believe that some of us, even though we look goofy on on set, you know, we're actually sometimes pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, um, I'm blessed to have you know uh, been uh, uh, involved with. Uh, uh, career, a career this uh, interesting, this uh, impactful, and in the nearest future, I intend to do big, bigger projects, more projects. For Ololari in particular, I seriously do hope that uh, people are going to watch it. It's going to create such a buzz that we're going to go into season two. That's my ultimate. Was, lot, what, what, was she not funny? Because you see, we are used to Frank Donga being a comedian. So when you see on television, we automatically think you're making. You're supposed to make us laugh. Mm -hmm. So is, is she not a funny guy, or is he just a regular guy? You know that regular guy that's always. Funny looking. Okay, so yeah, all right. So you have, you have even if he's of, not talking, he just, has a bit of Frank yeah, Donga in him. Just think, he's not trying to. This guy is a loser. Uh, but so then, all of a sudden, he now makes it big. If you guys want to find out what it looks, what it feels like for someone like that to have good money and how is he going to spend it, you got to watch. I don't know yeah. When is the premiere? When is this? Twenty fourth of November, this Friday. Oh, on Friday. On Netflix. Okay. Yes. Netflix. Yes. Oh, that's a Friday Stand evening by. movie. Yeah. the whole I mean, the whole week and is sorted. Oh, we'll, we'll binge on it tonight. Mm -hmm. And like I keep saying, I, I saw the production value from the from the shoots to the lighting and edit sales. Ah, sweet. Okay. I, my, I, I saw myself I'm like, oh, this is good. Huh. <laughs> All right. So should we expect you to be? A normal person, in other movies in future, like you know, like an inspector or oh, yeah, yeah. detective there, there or something. Oh yeah, yeah. coming out uh, next year. That I mean, it wasn't the goofy kind. I, I played villains, gone villains. So you <laughs> villain? You know, know, it's not about what you say. You. Is this I, the look? <laughs> like, I, I took care of it. Who take the villain seriously, Maria? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to talk about this. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.